Hi everyone, welcome to today's wellness session. We're going to be talking about how to motivate children in the new year. First, we need to talk about motivation. There's two different kinds of motivation, intrinsic motivation and extrinsic motivation. Extrinsic motivation is beyond the body. So this is when you do something because of the reward or punishment that you'll receive um, as a result of doing something. And intrinsic mo motivation is um, within your body or self. So this is when you do something because it's meaningful to you. Research has found that um, people who are intrinsic, intrinsically motivated are um, more successful. So I want to share with you some ways that you can help your children become um, intrinsically motivated or uh, identify some ways that they can be intrinsically rewarded. And these strategies can be used for teachers or parents. I'm going to share some examples of ways that teachers or parents can highlight intrinsic rewards for children. So the first one is a sense of competence when you master a skill. So the example of something that a teacher or parent could say here would be, um, you've been uh, rollerblading all day and, or you've been practicing rollerblading all day and now you can make it to the end of the driveway without falling. How does that make you feel? The next example of an intrinsic reward is a sense of competence in your work. So an example here could be um, a teacher saying, I heard some of uh, your classmates commenting on how good you did on your art project and how much, how much they liked it. I know you worked so hard on it. How did that make you feel? The next intrinsic reward is a sense of belonging when you participate in a group or activity. So here, uh, an example of something you could say was, what did you like best about, uh, best about playing basketball with your friends? Another intrinsic reward it, or another example of an intrinsic reward is a sense of meaning when you volunteer or help others. So something a teacher could say is, everyone did a wonderful job picking out gifts for the nursing home residents. How did it make you feel to do this for them? Another example is a, self, a sense of self-confidence when you reach a personal goal. So an example here is a parent saying, you reached your goal of learning to ride your bike without your training wheels. How does that make you feel? And the last example is a sense of joy um, with the results of hard work pay being paid off. So an example here could be, um, I know you faced some challenges when you were sounding out the words in your new book and I was glad to help you. How does it make you feel to have finished the whole book? So by helping children highlight these intrinsic rewards, they're better able to learn and recognize um, things that are meaningful to them and, and things that make them feel good. Now that we've talked about some ways that we can help our children become more intrinsically motivated, I want to share some strategies for how we can keep our children motivated um, with the new year. As the last few months of school can, be, can seem particularly long um, leading up to summer break. The first strategy is to give them voice and follow their lead. So ask the student or child, your child, what they hope to accomplish this year. Um, to ask them to define their goal or what they hope to learn or accomplish this year. And once they've identified something, you can prompt them with additional questions to make the goal more specific or, or help them define it a little more. And then you want to um, model how to 
uh, begin accomplishing your goals, which is by taking um, one step at a time. The next strategy is to encourage exploration. And you can do this by asking questions about their interests and assi assisting them with expanding on those interests. Um, take the time to have those meaningful conversations. Um, by taking the time to learn about a child's interest and allowing them the space to talk about them, it helps build their own self-awareness. The third strategy is to advocate and support the child along the way. So children need to feel loved and supported and safe before they're able to self-actualize. Another thing you might wanna do in, um, for this strategy is to model what motivation looks like. So as a teacher, that might be um, coming into your classroom and, and delivering your lesson with um, a lot of positive energy. And the last strategy is to celebrate the successes and the challenges along the way. So help the child understand that not only do we want to um, celebrate the successes along the way, but also the challenges because we can let our mistakes motivate us and learn from them. The last thing I want to do is share some uh, children's books that are related to goal setting or introducing the topic of goal setting or New Year's resolutions to children. The, fir the first one is The North Star by Peter Reynolds. And um, in this book, readers are encouraged to observe, wonder, and to consider diverging from the well-worn path. The second book is Squirrel's New Year Resolution by Pat Miller. Squirrel knows that New Year's Day is a great day for making resolutions. But what does it mean to make a resolution anyway? As she makes visits around the forest, she learns about New Year's resolutions and helps her friends to get started on theirs. The last book is um, Salt in His Shoes, Michael Jordan in Pursuit of a Dream by Dolores Jordan and Rosalind Jordan. Thank you for joining today's session, and I hope you'll stay tuned for our upcoming sessions.